Kia ora, Chris back again, and we're going to get into the next episode of House of the Dragon. So last time, I think the major things that have happened is that uh, King Viserys has decided that he is going to marry um, Alicent Hightower. Uh, there was a little bit of will he, won't he um, marry uh, Lord Corlys' daughter, Lena. Lena? But he has chosen to go with Alicent. They do have a bit of a connection, you know, sharing in the loss of their respective, uh, you know, he lost his wife, she lost his, her mother. Though I think it has more to do with uh, Otto. Yeah, he pushed her to the king's side, raised her up to become the queen. Other than, you know, just the recognition, I don't know what the reasons would be. But, uh, you know, this it seems to me that this is what his plan is. On a Dragonstone, uh, Prince Damon has taken it for himself. Um, he has said that he has a wife and a child on the way, uh, which is why he stole the dragon's egg to put into the um, cradle. Otto decided to go to get it back, but it was thanks to uh, Rhaenyra who had gone to, you know, negotiate with her uncle. <laughs> uh, she got the dragon's egg back, but there is so much tension between Damon and uh, like the rest of the family. We are also introduced to the conflict on the Stepstones, which greatly affects Lord Corlys. And while um, Viserys is pretty against sending his army to sort it all out, Corlys decides to go to Damon to try and get him to, I don't know, join forces and they, they will go and sort out the Stepstones themselves. I don't know. So a lot of things going on. Um, so we're going to get into the next episode. I don't know if we're going to be in front of the time jump. I don't think so because we need to sort out the Stepstones, right? So we're going to get into uh, House of the Dragon, Season 1, Episode 3, Second of His Name. Let's do it. House Valerian is coming for you! Snake will have your boxy fucking head. No, no, no. Oh shit, no, oh shit. Ah! Ah! Nail him up so he can be eaten. Ah! No. No. Ah! God, there'd be a slow, agonizing death being eaten alive slowly like that. Oh! Is that correct? Is oh, oh, that's that's good shit. <laughs> oh my god, his fucking dragon is so cool. You're probably gonna get caught in the. Oh. <laughs> Been eaten alive <laughs> slowly. <laughs> oh, look at that. Love how long his neck is. Did I say that before? I'm saying it again. Oh, he's not happy about that. Look at that long, sinewy body. That's so cool. I love, look, I love like Drogon and and um, Rhaegal and Viserion. I love them, but I could never tell them apart. Never. Two years old and already our boy has a kingly presence. He may yet, brother, but this morning he insisted on eating porridge with his hands. There's two years past. Is the baggage train ready? It's presently massing at the river gate. Lord Jason expects us in the Kingswood before midday. Have you seen Rhaenyra? I have not, Your Grace. Where's Rhaenyra? I cannot be sure at present, Your Grace. The Valarian forces have suffered heavy attrition, Your Grace. He doesn't seem that interested. Damon has driven the men hard. They have begun to question his command. Were he to intervene now, after so long, it would make the crown appear weak. Can someone tell me where in the seven hells Rhaenyra might be? With her ships. Hmm. How is their relationship after three years? Your Grace, 
Did I say to stop? Oh, she's pregnant again. I didn't notice that. Rhaenyra? Yes, my queen. Your presence is wanted in the outer courtyard. I decided to remain here and read instead. You may go, Samuel. You are to stay by order of the princess. The queen commands you to leave the godswood at once. Tension! <laughs> you should ride out with me today. Is he going to keep her as his heir? That's what I'm really interested in. Or will he bow to like children when they've been slaughtered? Pressure. I find it discomforting. No one's here for me. Now that he's got a son, she feels pushed aside. Everyone's kinda is that what is that what she's feeling? Hail, hail, England, the conqueror babe, second is his name. Hmm. Why are you eyeing her up? I fear the gods did not make me for hunting. Might I sit with you, my ladies? Oh, no, of course. Please join us. Who is this now? My lord husband says that no king has ever been able to tame the stepstones for long. Perhaps the princess? can give us some insight. Your dear uncle is the great mind behind this war, is he not? I wouldn't know. I've not spoken to Damon in years. Since you supplanted him as heir. He's made a mess and the king must put an end to it. Fuck it all, man. Go... <laughs> Rhaenyra should go with Damon and just burn the world. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Is your own second name day as grand as this? I honestly don't recall and neither will Egan. Lord Jason Lannister. Ah, oh, okay. I gathered that from all the lions. No, the King's Wood. It's fine hunting ground. But the best sport is to be found at Castle Rock, near my home. And I don't have a dragon pit, of course, but... I do have the means and resources to build one. Why would you need a dragon pit? For your dragon, darling. I'd do anything for my queen. Or... Lady Wife. Of course. Thank you for the wine. I actually don't know if Rhaenyra ever gets married or or not. Is that what I am to you? A prize to proffer about to the great houses. He's arrogant and self-serious. Well, I thought you might have that in common. <laughs> I have tried often to discuss it with you, but you've refused me at every turn. That is because I do not wish to get married. Even I do not exist above tradition and duty, Rhaenyra. Excuse me, Your Grace. Know where you are. <laughs> it's been a sighting of a white heart. The stag is the king of the king's wood, your grace, a regal portent for Prince Egon's name day. It's gone. Jump on Cyrex and go for a ride. Aww, not your dumb horse. Well, this is that, um, Christian Cole guy. Princess, wait! Oh, I see. We're going to get a thing here with these two. Dangerous! Let it fucking ride! <laughs> what happened back then? My father trying to sell me off to Jason Lannister. You want me to kill him? <laughs> we should return to camp, Princess. We should take in the Kingsguard. Kingsguard, he can't um, he can't marry or anything, right? So maybe they don't. Well, they might fuck or something, but I think that's about as far as that'll go. <laughs> How crude! Jesus Christ, girl. White Heart was a symbol of royalty in these lands. And on this day of all days. I've never been one for signs and portents, your God. Grace, if the gods did wish to show their favour. Superstitious. <laughs> I say that though, but, you know, I, I know that a lot of this god shit fucking is real, right? I mean, Jesus Christ. 
after everything that I've seen. Your Grace. He's going to do it, isn't he? Oh, boy. I forged in the Golden Gallery in honor of Prince Egon. Thank you for your generosity. I would be honored to take the Princess Renera to wife, Your Grace. Renera may take her place there by my side without shame and feel herself well compensated for her loss in station. Oh, yeah. What loss of station? Many of us had assumed. Many of us, you say. Have your bannermen questioned my choice of them? Of course not, Your Grace. It is your sworn duty to report rebellion stirring in my kingdom. Rebellion? There has been nothing of the sort, Your Grace. I, 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 I did only... not decide to name Renera my heir. On a whim. Pretty sure Alison will want her son to be king. So she'll... There'll be machinations there, I'm, I'm sure. What do you make of Lord Jason's proposal? That man's pride has pride. There is another choice beyond Casterly Rock. Who do you have in mind? Prince Egon. What? Two-year-old. Well, this... I just turned two, Otto. Yes, but it would cease the endless proposals for Renira's hand. <laughs> I, I had... <laughs> with them, I came here to hunt. Not to be suffocated by all this fucking politicking. <laughs> Typical Targaryen fear, right? Dude. Don't don't pull a fucking Robert Baratheon now. Get drunk and then go and hunt. <laughs> a truly great Targaryen king I am. Powerless over my own daughter of seven and ten. King Jaehaerys ruled over half a century of peace while his children drove him to the edge of madness. His daughters, in particular. It is tradition. <laughs> I do not want my daughter to become a teenager. It would seem to me the best match for Rhaenyra is the son of the sea snake, Selena. Some years ago, I counseled you to take his sister to wife. My reasoning remains the same. The breach between your houses has not narrowed mm. since I last spoke of it. It would do much to assuage Lord Corlys of any slights, real or imagined. Seems pretty logical, I think. We must pray, of course, that Lenor survives the fighting in the Stepstones. Probably not a bad uh, idea, whether she goes for it or not. Horses are agitated. <laughs> what is it? No jump scares, please. Oh, fuck. It's a boar. Oh, no. It's Baratheon all over again. <laughs> Oh shit! She's been... <laughs> oh Christ! Those things are freaking dangerous, man. We're still alive. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I named her to protect the realm from Damon. She was my only child. I named her Heart of Love. What is the power of a dragon? It's the power of prophecy. Naming her heir would begin to set things right. Oh, it did. I never imagined I would remarry. But I would have a son. What if I was wrong? Oh, he is questioning himself. Your Grace. For the kill. <laughs> Poor fucking thing. Such is the hunt. As long as none of it goes to waste. Oh, fucking hell, girl, you need to clean yourself up. Whoa! 
it's a white one. <gasps> hey! Oh, he's beautiful. She's so cool. It's covered in blood. <laughs> Sorry, she looks badass. <laughs> Did you enjoy the hunt, Your Grace? Well enough. How fared my grandson? The ladies Lannister and Redwine were quite taken with him. As they should be. He's the future of the realm. There he is, working, working his magic here. Always working his magic. If Rhaenyra were to step over Aegon to ascend the throne, the realm would tear itself apart. Would you have me raise a man to steal his own sister's birthright? It is Aegon that's being robbed. He's the firstborn son of the king. To deny that he is heir to the throne is to assail the laws of gods and men. The road ahead is clear. Hmm. I was hoping we might discuss something. Here we go. Rhaenyra, she must needs marry a high lord who will honor her, defend her, and serve her as king consort. I do believe that Rhaenyra will marry your grace. But she must believe it is her choice to do so. And how are they going to get her to do that? <laughs> Who's this? that from? A letter from Vaemon Valarian. Sea Snake's brother. Yeah. Okay. This is a plea for aid. If I now provide Damon and call his succor, what will that say of their king? Perhaps that he is a good man who loves his brother. Well, if you truly believe that, my dear, then you possess a generous spirit. Is it better for the realm if the crab feeder thrives or is vanquished? He's been giving you trouble for like, what, two, three years now. So clearly he's strong enough to withstand. Maybe this is a good opportunity to wipe him out. Dorstan. I'm sending word to Damon. Aid is sailing to the Stepstones. Did he make call for help? He would sooner die. I am sorry, Rhaenyra. I was trying to help you. Why must every effort on your behalf be resisted as if to the death? Because he means to replace me. You have no further use for me. You might as well peddle me for what you can. You have misjudged me, Rhaenyra. Oh, know it. You've been much alone these last few years. Alone and angry. Especially since her friend is, you know... I wish to see you content. Gone now. Happy even. You think a man would do it? What would you have me do? If it was for advantage, you would have wed Lena Valarian. Hmm. You must marry. Strengthen your own claim. Shore up your succession. Multiply as to your match. Make it yourself. Search him out. Huh. Okay. So he's not going to take Paulus's son? I did waver. At one time. But I swear to you now, on your mother's memory, you will not be supplanted. Okay. Let's see how long that holds out. It seems genuine, but... You know, the pressure and tradition and all of that. His prophecy. We'll see. I've made call for Driftmark to send more ships, but they will be weeks away. We are faltering and the Triarchy knows it. We must press the attack. Continue sending the dragons. Dragons? The I only ever see Corexes. The crab feeder and his men have no reason to leave those caves. We must give them one. An offering of flesh to bait the crab. Show me the knight who will march into that helping nephew, and I will show you a madman. Damon. Damon is why we are losing. He at least is fighting this war. What role have you played in this council, uncle? I'm <laughs> the master of complaints. Enough, Leno. If King's Landing will not support Damon, why should any of us? Prince Damon, I bring word from His Grace Viserys Targaryen. First of his name, King of the Andals, the Roynar, and the First Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's gonna be pissed. 
someone asks them for help. Oh, don't take it out on him! Fucking hell, Damon. I have ordered 10 ships and 2,000 men to set sail from King's Landing to join the effort in the Stepstones. Where's he going? I shall pray nightly to the gods for your safe return. Where he's going to go confront him. Oh! Dude, what are you doing? He's creepy looking. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering if it was going to be a ploy. He's going to try and finish it on his own. Shit! Fuck. It's what, two? Three? Where's the dragon? You need help. Dragon better come or freaking mind you, he say he he rode over here on his own. No? Yes? Yes. Is he dragging along? Oh, is that the crab dude? He killed him. Cut him in half, it looks like. <laughs> oh, gross. Fuck. He went in there all dirty, but shiny white hair had come out drenched. Oh, no, 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 no. God damn it. So he f <laughs> this is what's so funny is they've been fighting over there for what two or three years, right? And all it took was for the threat, <laughs> I guess from um Damon's perspective, of aid, of help from his brother for it to finally end. For him to like be like, fuck this, I'm gonna do this shit myself. <laughs> And then go and um kill this dude so you know he could have done that like a year or two ago <laughs> a year or two ago <laughs> oh god it's so funny um that's cool though he didn't freaking say a word he didn't have did he have any dialogue in that whole episode i don't think so um everything was like renera knowing that she's going to be replaced i firmly believe like i said I actually can't quite remember if in Game of Thrones there was ever like a queen on the throne before Cersei put herself there on the Iron Throne. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that she does eventually get 
supplanted. Um, I don't know. I don't know what she's going to do about her marriage. I mean, I guess it is pretty freaking important. Um, I honestly don't know. Either we've met the person that she's already going to marry or we haven't met them yet. Um, again, I don't think I know. I don't know too much about her history. Like I said, though, like <laughs> when, when she was like at her darkest, it's like, fuck this man. Just go, go with Damon and um, yeah, raise the world. Obviously, I don't want her to do that, but, you know, sometimes you just have those thoughts. Uh, Otto, again, whispering in the ear of his daughter, trying to get the, um, you know, trying to get Viserys to, to, to see that uh, Aegon should be named the heir. Um, saw that coming. I guess, like, Otto's motivation is just pure standing right yeah you know, he wants his um his daughter to be in power then his grandson in power um just for power you know i don't think it's really anything i think it really is just as easy as that allison seems kind of against it but i'm pretty sure she seems not against allison seems kind of resistant to it but i'm pretty sure as time goes on she'll there'll be like, there's already a wedge being put in between her and, and um, Rhaenyra because they were such friends. And now that she's got an heir, I think that I think that wedge is going to become pretty hostile. Um, so far, Alicent seems pretty saddened by their loss of what they were. I think that might change. But yeah, the whole thing with the white stag. Now, the, um, the, the white heart right that the king killed, he looks pretty, he looks like a normal stag to me, unless the white heart is just a, a dame, or it was just like really dirty, because it looks a hell of a lot different to the, um, to the stag that Rhaenyra saw, and hers was huge and beautiful and white, and all the, um, superstition about, you know, the white stag being seen after this time, oh, you know, it happens to be on Aegon's name day, um, and then for her to see it, like, is that supposed to be some kind of sign, you know, that, that Rhaenyra is going on the path that she's meant to be going on? I don't know. Oh, and of course the dragon at the end. Um, again, I said that, you know, one of the dudes said that, that, that there were dragons, I, and I completely didn't even think, um, I just, I just assumed that Caraxes was going to, um, was going to help Damon, but it was someone else and some dude dropped riding it. I don't know what, who the dragon is. I don't know who the dragon rider is. Um, but he did look kind of purpley. And Damon obviously killing the crab dude. So that's a win for them. Finally. <laughs> okay, good episode. Um, I enjoyed it. But we're going to leave it there for today. Thanks for joining with me. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Or more House of the Dragon. See ya.